Hi, I'm Liz from Focus Training. In order to coach your team and drive culture change in the organization, it's important to first take steps to truly define what the culture actually looks like. Many organizations will base their culture statements off of the company's mission, vision, and values. So you'll commonly hear things like collaborative, innovative, or customer-centric. Those words on a paper are a great first step for you as a leader to then define how this looks in each person's role. Customer-centric in a receptionist role is going to look a lot differently in a programmer's role. A receptionist should display customer centricity by being warm, by being friendly, by having answers at the ready for any questions that visitors have. A programmer, which is more on the back end, would probably be displaying some customer-centric focus on making sure that the systems that are put out don't have any bugs in them, or making sure that the website is optimized for ease of use. Those very different approaches to that same mission and that same cultural norm have just as much impact as the other. As we take those steps to define how this actually shows up for an individual in a specific role, we're able to help drive some of these stories that can come out of that. So we encourage you to ask your team members, what does this look like when we're innovative? We have a culture of innovation in our organization. When have you seen that show up? Have you seen a team member pitch an idea that solved a problem? They pitched a new product. If we're talking about the customer-centric focus again, when have you seen somebody display that? As you start to generate both those good examples of the culture living what is actually stated, you can help reinforce, re-engage, and coach on that. In the same way, you can focus on maybe some of the opportunities where the stated culture was misaligned, where we didn't necessarily meet the mark. Asking employees to bring those stories forward as well in a really safe environment can reinforce the positive culture just as much as the positive stories. You need to be able to give the people on your team the space to actually do the work though. If we say that we're innovative, but we don't give people the space to be innovative, we shoot down new product ideas, is our culture actually correct? Is our stated culture living up to the measure of our realized culture? We inadvertently as leaders sometimes put up barriers that prevent people from doing their best work and again, driving the actual culture forward. So take a really succinct look at what we're doing, how we're doing it, and provide that openness for your team to share those ideas, to share those moments, both good and not so good, so you can continue to drive this culture forward. These conversations need to happen more than just at the onboarding process or during annual performance reviews. Consider bringing in those culture moments into daily huddles, monthly meetings, performance check-ins, whatever that looks like for your team, ingrain it into your culture and you will help drive a much healthier, much better culture in your organization.